The Radioactive Rant podcast contains explicit language. Listener discretion advised. Here we go. Zero filter, zero coot. Mark Reynolds and Tom Swain. Oh boy! This <laughs> is radioactive rant. Went out to eat the other night. At a restaurant called Sweetwater. That sounds delicious. It's a nice place. And not that long ago, they'd bring a basket of rolls to the table. Yeah. They're called Aussie rolls, like Ozzy Osbourne. Why? Because one of the other restaurants in the chain is called Ozzy's blah, blah, blah. Maybe not okay. after Ozzy Osbourne. Oh. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I don't want those rolls. No, you do not. But they're known for these rolls, okay? Uh-huh. And they're very good, and there was no charge. Believe me, though, you're paying for them. Of course. You know what I'm There's talking about. Some kind of uh, tax. Of course. But now, you actually are paying for them. What? So recently, uh, they started charging a dollar for the basket of rolls. And that's fine, whatever, right? Uh-huh. But I'm checking out the menu. And I see that they have a listing for these rolls, and they say they're charging a dollar a basket for them. And in the description, it says a a dollar of each bread order Mm -hmm. will be contributed to fight food insecurity in our community. What does that mean? What does that mean? That means they're taxing you twice? No. I think they had a fucking committee meeting. To come up with a line like that so they can con themselves into believing they're making themselves look good. I I don't know. Maybe they're making themselves look socially awesome. Yeah. Right? You see? know, see? <laughs> you know, at the end of the at the end of the day, they're taking like trash bags full of, of food and throwing it into a fucking dumpster. Yeah, it's these phrases that that, that they I don't hate. care about the homeless or of the food insecure. Of course they don't. It's like, see, we're good people. It says yeah. so right here on the menu. See what we printed? We came up with food insecurity. And we'll charge you for it. Meanwhile, we're throwing away tons of food. Exactly. Yeah, fuck them. Just bring <laughs> me the fucking bread dipshit. We're saying the F word a lot. <laughs> we really are. Well, but I am. Well, we I shouldn't, mean, but we do. Uh, Listen, just charge a buck for the damn bread without a fucking song and dance. <laughs> yes. You know? And and give the money collected to feed the less, less fortunate and don't announce it. Just yeah. do it. Bono. Right? They're being Bono. They are being Bono. Or better uh, yet, with the prices that they charge, uh-huh. why don't they just silently donate to help feed the less fortunate? Those Types of places don't do anything silent. They really don't. Pretentious douche runoff uh-huh. is all I can think. <laughs> and that's weird. Uh, yeah, it is weird. <laughs> but they really crave that pat on the back, don't yeah, they? You they know what I'm talking it. about? Mm-hmm. Why does virtually everyone feel the need to come up with all of these socially aware psycho babble phrases? It's all virtue signaling, it but they don't is. do dick about anything. I no, and it's like I like this restaurant, uh, but oh my god, I would almost I, stop going good. there unless the food is yeah. very good. Okay, I, I was debating about about our next little thing here. Uh huh. We often get messages from our listeners in Louisiana about why oh, I no. rag on Louisiana so much, yeah. <laughs> and sometimes I copy and paste these texts into a folder. It's quite a large folder, and I'll read a few now, and then I'll tell you why. Okay. okay. All right. So Wyatt from Lafayette, Louisiana, says, fuck you and your shit talk about the greatest place on the planet, Louisiana. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. He says, I'd like to kick your ass, you stupid shit. Okay. And then Sophia from Thibodeau, <laughs> Louisiana, says, yeah. I'm sorry that you have had bad experiences when you were in Louisiana, but you don't have to be a prick about it. <laughs> well. Okay. These are just 
a very few uh-huh. of the many that I'm we sure get. Travis <laughs> from West Monroe, Louisiana. Again. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Travis been- says, you whiny little scum. Won't be listening to your crappy podcast because I'm sick of hearing all the Louisiana bashing. <laughs> Edward, Slidell, Louisiana. Okay. He says, eat shit and die, you fucker. Uh-huh. Stop shitting all over Louisiana. And it goes on and on and on. Okay. So the reason for all <laughs> okay. this. I watched a five-part documentary series on Showtime. It's called Murder in the Bayou. You know how I love those true crime uh, shows, right? Yeah. And this one. I don't get it. Delves into the unsolved murders of eight female sex workers who each struggle with drug addiction in Jennings, Louisiana. Mm-hmm. So it's from uh, it's from 2019. Okay, but I had to watch it because I had done time in Southwest Louisiana <laughs> for a while. I ran Not a few radio time. stations down there. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I was sentenced to that little part of hell, and I'm unfortunately familiar with Jennings, Louisiana. It was very close to one of my markets down there, Lake Charles, Louisiana. Mm. Again, (laughs) (laughs) and all the nightmare memories of my time there came flooding back. Uh It was just all too familiar. The horrible people, Uh the filth, the pollution spewing from the endless factories. I used to live near uh, L.A., so... You know what I'm talking uh, about. It's kind of the same Los deal Los Angeles, here. not uh, Louisiana. The blatant corruption, the hatefulness, uh, all of it uh, came back. So, Jennings, Louisiana is located in Jefferson Davis Parish. Okay? Parish. Yeah, there are parishes they there. Parishes? They just are. Is that county? It is the sort equivalent, of? yeah. Okay. And we're not going to get into that because yeah. I don't know or care. <laughs> Okay. But it's but but Jenny, it's a typical small town in the South, except for one thing in Jennings. It's a haven for drugs, prostitution, and corruption. It's saturated yeah. with it, and it's well known for that. Nice. It's a north side rich, south side poor town. Ah. Literally, north side, one side of the tracks, mm-hmm. south side, the other side of the tracks. Jennings is smack dab in the middle of Houston, Texas, and New Orleans on Interstate 10, and it makes it a nice little stop for drug dealers, and they definitely take advantage Uh, of it. They really do. And Jennings, Louisiana, is known for what they call the Jeff Davis Eight. Okay? I don't know. It's eight young women who were killed and had their bodies dumped in various locations. Mm. All of these women were connected in some way. Mm. Right? Their homicides have gone unsolved for years. So a serial... Kill all. That's the debate. But this town, piece of shit, corrupt sheriff. <laughs> I mean, oh my God. Like in most of the parishes in Louisiana. That's right. I said uh, it. Yikes. And the sheriff, the fat slob, good old boy, <laughs> fake fuck. Whoa. Whose watch all this fell under was ultimately voted out of office only to be replaced by a new sheriff who promised to get on top of the Jeff Devitt. Right. De- on top of the Jeff Davis 8 case, he did not. Right. No? Shocker. <laughs> now, all of these women have virtually been forgotten because the general consensus is that they were worthless, a bunch of drug-addicted prostitutes. They're still human beings. Exactly. Hey, maybe when you see these people, instead of saying, look at that trash, how about saying there, but for the grace of God? Right. Think about that. Uh, People don't want to do that. Well, many of them down there don't believe in God. Just voodoo and all that horse shit. Trust me. I thought it was part of the the Bible Belt. I'm not even going to get into that. Okay. I I can't. Maybe another, (laughs) you know. But clearly, law enforcement corruption continues unencumbered to this day down there. Mm-hmm. A lot of other places, too, but oh, again, yeah. I digress. Years ago, mm-hmm. NBC's Dateline did an on-camera sting segment called Probable Cause with a question mark. Oh. Okay? Took a look at how policemen in southwest Louisiana, they've been harassing motorists, mainly on Interstate 10. Oh, I saw that. You, yeah. Using these forfeiture laws to seize people's property yeah. even when no criminal acts have been performed. They yeah. were caught red-handed on camera. Nothing ever yeah. happened. If you had any cash, it, it was matter. theirs. They would just take it. But they they were caught. Nothing happened. Of course. No consequences. Totally corrupt. Yeah. The state, Louisiana, mm-hmm. they celebrate the openly crooked former governor, Huey Long. 
They brag about it. Oh. They're proud of it. There's even a restaurant called, by his nickname, The Kingfish. Oh. It's a oh, good wow. restaurant. It's, it's good, but still <laughs> shady. And it sounds weird, but I, I like felt that shadiness on a daily basis when I was down there. Oh. Don't get me wrong. Oh, palpable. Many people who live in Louisiana, they're fine people. Yeah. But overall negative vibe is there, especially in southwest Louisiana. It was, mm. like you said, palpable. Mm -hmm. It really was. And in many cases, if you didn't hail from there, it's fuck you to hell. Yeah, it was. You're you viewed as an outsider. Yeah. yeah. Some of the goons at the radio station would ask me, where are you from? Uh -huh. And I'd say, I was born in Virginia. You know what they would say? Oh, you're a Yankee then. <laughs> The seat of the South, Virginia? I, that's why I would think, what the okay. fuck is wrong with these fuckers? I don't know, geography? You see, in their minds, anything north of Shreveport <laughs> is Yankee country, and that's all there is to wow. it. Wow. Now listen, man. Okay. I think we all know. I have my shortcomings. There's no doubt about that. Okay? <laughs> but some of these people at these radio stations were evil, sour, miserable, empty shit stains. Wow. And I found that Southwest Louisiana was really ground zero for these types. Mm. It's true. Maybe it's in the water, literally. Okay. People in radio, they're generally scummy. <laughs> not me. <laughs> but believe it or not, it's more the off-air staff, the office folks, the administration people. That were evil? Yes. Really? I hired a woman, I'd say in her late 20s, to be a DJ on one of my stations in Louisiana. Yeah. I don't remember which one. She was from a market in Colorado, I think Denver, maybe Colorado Springs, but anyway. The office ladies, I mean vultures, were all up in her face with smiles and niceties uh -huh. until the second she turned around and walked off, it was all downhill from there. Uh -huh. It really was, and it happened super quick, quicker than normal, but as always... The true ugly colors just came rushing out. Oh, man. She's a bitch. She's a whore. <laughs> she's an egomaniac. She's a this. She's a that. It was crazy. Her husband soon said, F this noise. They packed up their kid, packed up their shit, and moved. Just Good. a couple of months she was there. Good for her. Man. And you have never, ever seen a more satisfied group of hens. Oh. In your life. Forced her out of here. The catty yeah. nature of women who work in the office crazy. of radio stations is bizarre. And very <laughs> sad at the same time. But in Louisiana, it was crazy over the top. Yeah. It really was. Just on at 11. It really was. There's not many female radio personalities to start with. Uh-huh. It's a male-dominated industry. It just right. is. But I like to hire women because they typically got good ratings. Mm -hmm. And that's what it's all about. Radio is a business. That's right. People in the industry don't remember that. They like to forget that. Of course. They want to use it as their, you know, like we said their before. Jukebox. Their jukebox. <clears throat> but the women disc jockeys definitely have it rough. It's mm -hmm. that way at every station and every market I've ever worked at. Huh. The office staff's jealousy, it's overwhelming. It's that way at every station. I'm telling you, it's crazy. The backstabbing is relentless. It's mind-boggling. What is it? They want to be on radio? I don't or... know what it is. That's Ask weird. any female DJ. If you're going to be overwrought with jealousy for no reason, mm -hmm. then maybe work somewhere else. Right. You know what I'm talking about? Anyway, it was way worse down in southwest Louisiana. I think the hatefulness is baked in down there. That's what I was saying. Maybe it is in that, I don't know. Yeah, know. like you said, baked in just God, it's nuts. badness. And that's my spiel, as the Jews say. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Probably not too many down there. Not at all. Uh, all right, we're going to do a quick recap of what we talked about on the last podcast. That's to get everyone up to speed, because we're going to read a few text messages from our listeners, and most of the messages refer to the prior episode. Right. So... On the last episode, we talked about the Murdaugh murders, the mm -hmm. family, the trial, the whole mess. We also mm -hmm. mentioned a television commercial for a urine collection system. <laughs> That's right. A system and a ton more. So what you got to do is go to RadioactiveRant.com to get in touch with us. Go to the contact page, and that's where you can find out how to message us. And people do that. And this is the portion of this podcast where we read this shit. I yeah. mean, stuff. <laughs> From Louisiana. A lot. A lot of them. Vi we'll get a lot more. Uh-huh. Vic, sure. was that story okay? Yeah. Was it? But you're going to get a lot more messages. 
Okay, That's again, cool. people ask me, uh -huh. why ragging why on Louisiana? There you go. That documentary about Louisiana and a part of Louisiana I lived in for a while, or was sentenced to, <laughs> it just brought back all those memories. Yeah. And the evil, the terror. Oh, mm. God. Maybe what are we doing? Live outside of the state to really understand yeah. what it's like. Like way up north in Virginia, like me. You know, yeah. way up north. Yeah, you Yankee. Oh, my God. Messages. <laughs> Here we go. We're going to read them. Vic, Quincy, Illinois. The discussion about the Murdoch family was spot on. Another great example of rich people doing whatever the hell they want to do with no repercussions for years. Yeah. Pretty frustrating, but it's finally ending. Like right? that drunken kid who plowed through some bystanders. St bystanders. Mm -hmm. Remember him? I do like remember truck him. truck and Nothing. just ran over a bunch yeah. of people. Then he got sentenced to, like, I think, House arrest? Something ridiculous. It's wealthy man. Frustrating. <laughs> Lander, Tupelo, Mississippi. I think making fun of Paul Murdaugh's former girlfriend was wrong. Uh, I saw the Netflix documentary you talked about and thought she held her own when being interviewed. Okay. Okay. Well, your opinion has been duly noted on a stupid podcast. There you go. And by the way, I never made fun of her. No. I simply well, pointed out what I was... thought was painfully obvious. <laughs> Maybe rewatch the documentary? I don't know. It was all about her. Yeah, it was. Whitney, Wilmington, Delaware. I've seen that commercial for the thing that collects urine while the old lady sleeps and have to admit <laughs> it was off-putting. But I had to snicker at you guys talking about it in great detail on your podcast. Yeah. Well, thank you. We, we appreciate that you agree with us that an elderly woman and her bowl of pee is off-putting. <laughs> Because it was. Yeah. Gary, San Antonio, Texas. You insensitive fucking asshole. <laughs> Laughing at senior citizens who suffer from incontinence was fucked up bad. Oh. I will never listen to Radioactive Ran again. Bye! We'll miss you. We're, we're sorry. Yeah, bye-bye. Walt, Canton, Ohio. I will give you $100 for that talking magic eight ball. $100? Listen, $100 to me is like a penny. <laughs> so, yeah. There's the messages. All right, Murdoch. <laughs> Those were your messages. Those were your messages. We hope to hear from you next time. No one's ever getting the Magic 8 Ball. No. Ever. Magic 8 Ball. It. Do you want another home? Yeah. He does hate you. My answer is maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> that was a maybe. I'll take that $100. Uh, I'm thinking I will take it. I have a complaint. What's your complaint? I was driving around the other day and just going to the store. Yeah. And I noticed this woman and her kid trying to push their broken down car off the road. Okay. Did you help them? Fucking hell. 15 cars just passed by them. Did you help I them? I helped them. Good I for pulled you. over. This woman, I don't know, she was in her early 30s, and her son was like, I don't know, 10, 11. Okay. Yeah. They were struggling pushing wow. this car. And no one was helping them. No one would help them. No one cares. Don't you oh know that? God. How many times do assholes. I have to say, this world is a sewer? It is. And it's getting worse and worse and worse. It is. All right? Well, so that's, that's nice that you helped them out. So we give you a hand for that. that. Because you're definitely not going to hear the clapping when it comes to <laughs> the Radioactive Rant yeah. Trivial Pursuit TV Trivia Cards Classic Television's Questions Game. Yeah. Because it's time for that. Uh. Just found these cards out in the garage, minus the actual game, just the TV Trivia Cards from the 60s, 70s, and 80s. <laughs> and that's it. It's kind of like you got to say that, right? You have it's like, to. Why are you doing that? What? So here we go with your first question. What is the make and model of the police car Starsky and Hutch drove on Starsky and Hutch? That's easy. Do I have to guess the year? No, not the year. Just the make and model. Okay, it was a Ford Gran Torino. Wow. Okay. Yeah! yeah with a white stripe. Car. The red with, with the, the white stripe. And it was a red. Very eye-catching. Love that car. You got one. Of course. Good for that you. That one was easy.
Number two, for what newspaper does Oscar Madison work? Huh? For what newspaper does Oscar Madison work for on The Odd Couple? Hmm. It was in New York. So the Times? Uh, The New York Herald. uh, Oscar Madison, uh, of course, played by Jack Klugman. Is is that even... A thing it's not anymore? a real, no. I don't uh, think it ever was. No, no? okay. You know, made it for the thing. Gotcha. Here's your third one. What TV commercial product exclaims, look, Ma, no cavities? I mean, you got a running chance here. Uh, yeah. It's a toothpaste, clearly. Colgate? Yeah! <laughs> Crest. Uh, this is like a, almost a 50-50 on that one. Good point. <laughs> What's wrong with you over there? <laughs> I can't get comfortable. Ugh, I really can't. I'm like I keep adjusting around. too. There's a chair and then I sink down. Yeah, and, uh, it's not good. It's our age. The life of being a podcaster. A podcast star. Right. Here's your fourth one on the Radioactive Rant Trivial Pursuit TV Trivia Cards <laughs> Classic Television's <laughs> Questions Game. <Jeez. sighs> what was the first Mr. Wilson's First name on Dennis the Menace. Holy shit. No. George? (gasps) That was a complete guess. You got that right. You know, the original Mr. Wilson, he passed away a few seasons in. Really? And was replaced by Gail Gordon, Uh. who played his brother, John Wilson, the second Mr. Wilson. George and John. Yeah. They only huh. briefly mentioned that George Wilson was back east a couple of episodes. Yeah. After, and then the, the lady <laughs> who played his wife just blew her out. Wow. She didn't even mention him anymore. <laughs> anyway, there you go. <laughs> you know, that show was canceled a couple years later anyway. Really? I think the Dennis shenanigans was getting old, as was actor Jay North, who played Dennis. Oh. Dennis. Looked you know? like my dad when he was a little kid. My really? dad looked. Just like Dennis the Menace. Acted the same, too, apparently. He's, he was quite the menace in the oh, neighborhood. Really? You know, I think they had to cancel that show because of the, you know, his high-pitched voice was getting deeper. Yeah. Gee willikers, Mr. <laughs> Wilson. I got to go shave my balls and get Margaret <laughs> lubed up <laughs> for some three-way action what with the- Tommy. Uh-huh. Yeah. Tad off-putting, don't you think? A little bit. But, yeah, his voice was, like, worse than Peter Brady's when oh, he was yeah. cracking his voice hey. at the time. So there you go. A little thing from the... Okay! Do we roll through all this too quickly? Going through the motions. Really? Then why are we doing this? That is just a resounding... To be podcast stars. Going through the motions. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. Fuck it. You know what? Speaking of going through the motions, here's my... No, we're not to that part. part. Oh. You just wait. The pickle? Why do you get the pickle? You talked about going through the motions. Okay. okay. So we're just going to play the yodeling pickle for the rest of this podcast and then not do it ever again. Here we go. Is that racing Arizona? I don't the know. Yodeler what it is. guy. I'm going to do it all over. Okay, it's the uh, Radioactive Rant Celebrity Rant. It's where we call out celebrities that upset us. It's mostly. Famous people or people that are famous that should not be. Mostly. Mostly. Okay, now you can do your celebrity rant. Going through the motions. Who do you hate? Seth Rogen. Yeah. God. That's an easy one. Sorry, but yeah. I used to love him. Why? He made pretty good comedies or was yeah. a part of good comedies. Yeah. But now he's just going through the motions, it feels like. Okay. And just... Uh, going and making, rehashing shit. Yeah, that's I'm like, true. Come on, man, make something original, please. I don't get it. Okay, McLovin, make that thing. <laughs> just that a spin off of that. But he he's just rehashing shit and then just making it. Uh, you know, the social crap that's going on. Yeah, delving into that. Of course, and. And he's annoyed by any criticism. It hurts his feelings. I understand that. 
<laughs> I'm good with that. <laughs> Yet this dickhead said, oh, anybody that lives in L.A. and gets their uh, car broken into, that's just being in L.A. and that's part of the tax. Yeah, okay. Well. <laughs> but that's not supposed to be annoying. But being criticized for your shit? That's true. Fuck him. Okay. Anyway. You got a good point He's there. an insuff- insufferable douchebag now. Okay. And his laugh is has always been annoying. It's true. Even yeah. more annoying now. I uh, Well, now that you hate him more. Yeah, okay, exactly. All right. Uh, mine is Tom Brady. Oh. Wait. I am sick of this shit-stained piss-hole tip. You haven't had him on before? Nope. Okay. I'm retired. Whoops. No, I'm not. Whoops. Yeah. Didn't get to the Super Bowl. <laughs> retired again. Yeah. I'm married. Now I'm not. Exactly. Now I'll do color on Fox Sports as an analyst for football games and yeah. make millions more sounding like a stiff sack of shit sidekick. Uh-huh. Ugh. He's just always been a stiff side. That, so what I just said. Of shit. Just go away, you spooge filled <laughs> cupcake. <laughs> I didn't want to see him. I don't want that cupcake. That sounds gross. I didn't want to see him play football. I sure as shit don't want to listen to him babble on and on about it for three hours. Enough. Oh, man. The charmed life. Just go away, dick. He's got it. Man, I'd like to force him to drink my pee. (laughs) What? And that's celebrity rating. Out of your collection, whatever it's called. My collection system. You're in collection collection system. system. Mm-hmm. A lot yeah. of shuddering on this particular podcast or this <laughs> <Sure> episode. <is. sighs> I hate. I just hate. <laughs> listener rant. Speaking of hate. There we go. It's, not a hit. it's where the <laughs> listeners of this podcast send in the things that annoy them. Go to radioactiverant.com and click on listener rant to see what people hate. You think and we hate? Just on the contact page, you can message us with what bugs you, and maybe we'll read it on the podcast. Here's a few things that people just don't like. Yeah. Earl, Sumter, South Carolina. People who constantly post engagement photos on Facebook for what seems like months. Yes. And then they end up breaking up after all that. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's funny. That's the best part. I love it. Another reason to scrap Facebook. There right? you go. Andrew, Paducah, Kentucky. When you eat out and the server has their finger in your food while they're holding the plate. Oh, I had somebody hand me a cup like that. Yeah, they do with it's their like, fingers in there. What the fuck? I, I don't like that. Either. A Get finger hand out of, out of my, glass my, my, my area and my food. And, and a finger, it's a finger. <laughs> I don't want a finger anywhere near my area. A finger that just moments ago was in his butthole or <laughs> right. pee hole. Ugh. Both bad. Tobias, Juno Beach, Florida. He doesn't, and I'm going to read this verbatim. Uh oh. So, Tobias, Juno Beach, Florida. Okay. When stupid people live. <laughs> Yay! Best one ever. That's your best friend right there. That's where we end the whole podcast. <laughs> like the whole thing. It's over. <laughs> when stupid people live. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Tobias. <laughs> That's a good one. He's a winner on this one so far. There's your T-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> and your bumper sticker. We might have to steal that. I'm definitely stealing that. I'm going to use it yeah. liberally. Roxanne, Agora Hills, California. She doesn't like people who say they need to tell you something, then say, never mind. Yeah. You slightly know, annoying. That is me, but in my defense, it's just that I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> it's an age thing. Or stupidity. I don't know. Vic, Bismarck, North Dakota. He doesn't like someone telling me to do something I'm already doing. Oh, do you live at my house? That's easy. <laughs> I just stop doing things, <laughs> and I'm done. And there you go. I'm That's to start doing that. Listen around. Yeah. Cease everything. Right. That's what I say. Sounds good to me. All right, so there you go. Another rip-roaring hot shit podcast episode (laughs) of Radioactive Rant. What do we have? Anything here we want to play with? Our little toys, the fuck box? We Trump. Yeah. I know it upsets the people, but... Yeah, we have the Magic 8-Ball, okay? The talking Magic 8-Ball. You ask it questions. Hey, Magic 8-Ball, do you like being on this podcast? Blah. It is likely. 
<laughs> so it says shit like that that yeah. upsets the hell out of us. <laughs> But then this uh, one of our listeners sent in a text that says, hey, there's a thing on Amazon called yeah. President Predicto, and it's a talking ball, but it has Trump's voice on it. Pretty much. So I got one, right? Yeah. We used it. It's very upsetting. Red flags went off in many, many people's heads. Yeah. Okay. Trump just trigger. does that. It is a trigger. And here it is. <laughs> hey, Donald Trump. Do you like being on this podcast? Yeah, that's a good question. I have no idea. <laughs> Very accurate. So now we played with it. Are you happy? Yeah, I am. That made my day. <sighs> any other rantings? No, I don't want any more rantings. I think I'm done. I, than, I might uh, be done with the whole podcast. <gasps> I'm, I, 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 da, da. Uh, I just don't know anymore. That really upset me. All those people, 15 at least, just drove right by that poor lady and her kid. Yeah, people do not care anymore. They really do no. not. I helped another lady and son wow. change a tire. It was a few years ago. But still. I remember they were just struggling, trying to get just the the bolt off of there you know people drive by and they see that and they're like yeah too much work yeah they really either, do oh. you know or not my problem exactly and like damn you suck you motherfucker i'm in my busy life you know yeah, i gotta busy do important. things i gotta get home to post on facebook exactly what a great person i am and what a wonderful life i have and then when i go mm. to bed i lay there drowning in my flop sweat <laughs> thinking about how miserable i am next to this piece yeah. of shit that i i married for some reason okay we're whoa done. <laughs> that's what uh, yeah <laughs> all right we're out of here all right that's it thank god bye <laughs>